Oi! Konnichiwa! Wait, that's not what I say here. What up, beatheads? Today I would like to show you how to easily cut, slice, sample, whatever, from songs. Very easily. Let me show you how to do that using Slicex. So how to chop them very easily with Slicex. There you go. Hopefully you understand what I'm trying to show you. Let's do this. So let's have a listen to this one. Very interesting piece of music. It's from Bleach uh, Anime, and I really like it. So let me show you how to do the sampling. First things first, let's play it and simply count the... Uh, we want to find the BPM of the song, so let's do that. Just play the song. Let's say it's about 151. I could be wrong, it's fine, whatever. We can always come back to this. So here's what we do. Under tempo, there's there's a little dot on the left side under T. You want to right click on it. If you move your mouse, you'll, you're going to notice how this little panel over here uh, changes. And it says tempo and you can right click. So you right click then and then under tempo, you type in 151. So the tempo that you just figured out and then go and select tempo sync and click accept. After you do that, you need to find the downbeat in this particular piece. So have a listen to it and once you start counting go like one, two, three, four. Every time you say one, that's the downbeat. So let's listen to it again. So it will be like here. So here's what you do. You put a marker there and then you right click on it and you go to purpose downbeat. Check what happens. I want you to pay close attention what's gonna happen to the grid See how there's like these lines behind the waveform? That's the grid. Let's pay attention to what happens to it if I move the marker. See how the grid itself moves. This is going to be very useful. So let's align the marker properly. I think that fits right there. So here's what you can do next. After you put in these two crucial pieces of information, the correct BPM, and then you put the marker for the downbeat in the correct position, now you have two options. You can either have the program automatically cut up the song for you according to the grid, or you can simply activate snap to grid and just click and drag. And notice as I'm dragging, it's constantly snapping somewhere. And let's say I'm, I'm just going to, I'm going to drag and select like, I don't know. Let's see. One, two, one, two, three, four. So 16 piece, I don't know, 16, uh, it could be one bar. doesn't matter. Let's have a listen and loop it. As you can see, this sample is now cut perfectly on the beat and now we can easily use either snapping to grid and notice again once again as i'm moving you'll notice how it snaps to the grid and we can use the grid to our advantage to select any part of the song and sample it there's another way you can double click on the marker it's going to select everything after the marker what you can do then is you can click on this little button that says regions auto slice and go to large grid or medium or even small grid slicing any of these three options check what happens as you see right now, the song has been cut up automatically for me. Now what I can do is I can simply just drag and select, let's say, this portion and play it. And you'll see it's going to loop perfectly. Or here. <laughs> The reason, once again, this is happening is because basically I just programmed Slicex to align its grid according to the beat and also I put in the correct BPM so the grid is perfectly aligned to the beat and I can easily just do use any of these two methods, either the grid itself or I can just uh, use this auto slice option and cut up the song and look at this, now everything is cut up, it's just for me to go in here and select any portion I want, so let's have a listen. <laughs> Now I can simply just drag this into the playlist and there you go, it's that easy. So after that it's just up to me to, I don't know, let's say four bars, change it a little bit, uh, no, and let's go like this, let's have a listen. I'm just going to put in a random loop in there, 
go like this and let's have a listen. Just a simple demonstration. And of course I can come back into the slice six, take any other four bars, eight bars, whatever you desire, it's up to you. So once again, the two crucial information you need to put in is the correct BPM of the whole song and then you need to align the downbeat, this marker for the downbeat, you need to make sure it's aligned exactly on the downbeat. And that's about it, after that you can either auto slice the whole thing or you can just use snap the grid and then drag the mouse yourself and you'll notice how it snaps and it makes it easy to select 4 bars, 8 bars, whatever you desire. So there you go, beatheads. Just wanted to give you guys a little help with cutting your samples. It just makes it easier. It saves up so much time than constantly having to count four beats, four bars, constantly doing this, constantly doing that. This just eliminates it. And of course, at any point, you can turn off snapping and come in here and do this manually yourself. It's up to you, man. But I just want to give you the tools and then you can decide which tools you want to use. As long as you have them there, you're gonna get the job done eventually. So, muchas gracias for watching. Dankeschön and auf Wiedersehen. We, we see you in next video. Bye bye.